today we're going to be painting these KRK Rocket 5s. Got this at Walmart for like four bucks. I already got started with the disassembly for the one of them. Here's what it looks like on the inside. All right, so now we're going to get all the screws out from this, the second one. So what you want to do is you want to get the outer one. So this one, this one, this one, this one. Just the outside ones. All right, so once you get the outer screws, it should pop right out. So you want to disconnect this cable and then there's some cables that you could disconnect here, but I'd like to just unscrew the speakers and then the speakers just come out without having to unplug anything. All right, so I just took apart this, the second one. So now we have all the stuff outside. In order to not get paint on this, I don't mind getting rid of this, but there's like a light that shines through this. So I do want to keep that. Um, I'm going to get a little piece of clear tape and put it on like that. And then you're going to grab a blade and then you're going to kind of carve around the the edges like that that way you get sort of like the perfect fit for this and once you've cut out the shape you can just get this peel it off i recommend you use masking tape this is all i have right now but if you use masking tape it'll be easier all right now i'm just gonna stuff some newspaper you don't really need to do this because we've already taken out all the components but i don't know i'm just kind of doing it as an extra extra precaution all right so i got these masked off and put some newspaper on the inside of both of these but before i start spraying i do want to wipe them down and get rid of any dirt or anything like that i don't think i need to sand them i should be fine the spray says it bonds to plastic so we should be fine without having to sand them at all so after i wipe these down i'm gonna, gonna go outside and give the first coat All right, so we're done with the first coat. Now we're gonna wait about 10 to 15 minutes and then give it another coat. All right, and that is the second coat. So we're gonna give it another 10, 15 minutes. All right, so I just got done with the last coat. I'm gonna go ahead and let them dry and uh, I'm gonna take them inside and assemble them and I'll show you guys how it looks like when I'm done. All right, so I just reassembled the speakers. They actually ended up coming out like a very silver color. I don't know, like I, ex I actually expected it to be um, chrome. I'm actually not too mad about this color. It's like more of a, like a silver color and uh, I think it actually looks better than, than what this was gonna look. So I'm pretty happy with that and they work perfect. They didn't mess up or anything. So there you have it. If you want to spice up your, your little bedroom studio and uh, give your studio monitors a little more of a futuristic look, you can do it for under, I don't know, I spent like four bucks on the, the paint. And then I ended up buying this thing. Um, you don't need to use this, but I decided to just get it that way. Um, the paint doesn't scratch off. 